Hi, this is Robert with Waltzing Matilda JT and my son Elijah. Today we're going to take you on a really fun trip. We're going to go find some hidden cabins out in Death Valley. So why don't you sit back and relax and enjoy the trip. There's uh, the Jeep and the turtle back. And this is what we found here. This is a nice little hidden gem in Death Valley. Not too many people know about this place. There's an upside down car over there. There's a mine. There's some good stuff here. There's a flagpole, just so you know, if you ever stay in a uh, cabin, you always raise the flag so people, when they're coming in, they know that it's occupied. Let's go check this cabin out. Look at these big rocks. Inside, let's, let's go inside. Check out this. Hey, look, look, look. Some shit looks like it's been in here recently. Yeah. People maintain <laughs> it. Yeah. Check this place out. How cool is this? Look at this. Whoa, so my curious, my question is why are they oxidized? Like if you look at them, they're, they're hot. Oxidized. Yeah, they were heated up. They got left on here. Somebody, this, somebody yeah, used people, this. Yeah, people use it. This is the, you'll see all of them will have heaters in it. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Books, Old book. Crank. Those are for the windows. Those cranks are probably for the windows. Which Fire are... extinguisher. Yeah. Table. Cool they got a rock. They got a good map. What's this? Geological map of Spring Mountains, Nevada. Look at that book, it's called Birds, Beasts, and Relatives. <laughs> what is it? It's October 3rd. 23rd. And if you get hungry, there's some four bean salad. That looks pretty good. It's only been here for 100 years. Hmm. What is it? The mint. Oh, there's your flag. Yeah, here's a little room right here. A little outbuilding. Yeah, so here it is. Look at this. People took time to fix this, and they got pots and pans and a refrigerator. Old boots, a new vacuum right there. Look at that thing. Old jack. Very cool. This thing is this heater. We got wood heater right there. It's, it's very cool. After spending about 30 minutes in the cabin, we decided to hike up the mountain behind the cabin and take a look around. It was a fun hike. It took us about an hour to get to the top of the mountain to look down. Although we didn't find any gold, we did find a bunch of views that were just beautiful back there. So why don't you follow us and let's go to this next cabin. I think you'll enjoy it as well. If you know anything about Death Valley, you know that it takes forever to get anywhere in Death Valley. Everything is far away, and this was no exception. We found our way to this valley. It took us about three hours to get there by dusty dirt road and rocks. But it didn't disappoint, not one bit.
Good morning. There I am from the top of uh, a mountain. Look at the colors in the sky. Man, it is beautiful up here. You can see our camp last night. Down there, there's a cabin. There's Matilda. My son's still asleep. It's beautiful. I'm up about a thousand feet or so. It's gorgeous up here. Anyways, take a peek. get into today where we're gonna go but should be pretty fun a couple more cabins I know about talk to you later Okay, so here we are at the Mangle cabin. This was occupied last night, so they had the flag ran up, so we didn't stay here. We stayed at another cabin nearby. But check this place out. It's just amazing that people could uh, stake out a life in places like this. It's so cool. So there's an old bathroom over there. Here's the spots where you can park and camp. Yeah. Wonder if they pull it out there. Yeah, see that's bad. Why people do that is beyond me. Glass, bottles, everything goes inside there. And that one. Anyways, here's a cool little building. Lots of melons growing around here. This is a good room for a bathroom. Set your toilet up inside here. You'll see it's pretty cool. They got a dart board if you're into darts. Nice little uh, room. 
That's where I like to put my toilet. There's some tea. You gotta sign this in here, Lige. You need to sign this. There's some skis in case it snows and you need to ski out of here. Here's the living room. This is pretty cool. It's got a really nice stove sink here I think it's October 4th So the JT, thanks, Carl. It's Carl Mingle. It's his place. Although he's no longer with us. I like all these guns. Put these guns up here. It's pretty funny on the window inside of here. It has the Wi-Fi code. TCO1CU812. Somehow I don't think it works. But anyways, something people do, I don't know why, they're, you're supposed to shut the doors, it keeps animals out of here, like, and you're supposed to shut the gate, but the people before us from last night, they, they didn't do it, so. Yeah, so this cabin's really cool. It's Carl Mangle's cabin, he was here, I think the 20s to the 40s, I can't remember how long he was here for. But, yeah, look at this. They got all the, that's open. Nice little area if you wanted to barbecue, prepare your food. See what these guys were doing last night. They were up here because we could see them. great view. I love this roof, man. I, I could just, if I could do a whole house in that, I would. Looks like it's been distressed by somebody else. It's pretty cool. We were up on the mountains up there. There's my truck. Turtleback. Anyways, there's my son looking around. It's a very cool, cool old house. Love this place. Rock's the way to go, man. It lasts forever. After spending an hour at the Mangle cabin, we decided to go to the geologist cabin. However, it was occupied and somebody was flying the flag, so we didn't bother going into their camp. This stretch of the road is beautiful. You can see Stripe Butte in the background. It's so gorgeous. Drive in here, I saw something over here, kind of running low on fuel, so I thought I might just see if this gas pump over here is still uh, in service. 
Well, just like this old gas pump, me and my son, we were both out of gas from traveling for the last two days. We had a great time out in Death Valley. These old cabins are so beautiful, and I encourage you, if you do come out and stay in them, please take care of them. Leave them better than you found them. If there's something you can fix on them, do so. But please, let's keep our lands open and our roads open. And if we leave our garbage in our fire pits and things like that, it's surely to get them closed down. Well, at the very end of this, I've left a couple photos here, some of my favorite ones from the trip. Enjoy.